Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back. So today is an exciting day to be a Clasher. We've got an update. That's always a great day for any player or YouTuber or anybody in the community. So we got some cool things. Now this update wasn't a huge one, but we did get a new defense. That new defense is this right here. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Right here, I'm building it. Air Sweeper. That's right, it's like a leaf blower. You know, you guys may see people blowing leaves on their lawn with those things. It's kind of like that. It's going to go in one direction and blow anything in its path back. Now, this is going to be most effective against balloons, of course. Could have seen that one coming, right? The the people at Supercell are probably trying to make the Go Lava Loon attack kind of less overpowering because I wouldn't say it's an overpowering strategy, but it is the most used strategy right now. And whenever that happens, they kind of step in and try to make it harder to, to do that strategy. This happened with Hog Riders, this happened with Witches before, this happened with Dragons before that. And there's been a lot of armies like that that become, in their mind, too powerful. I think a strategy is never too powerful unless you can spam just one troop. So, you know, 20 witches, 10 dragons. Those kind of armies to me need changing because, you know, that means it's too easy. You make one troop, you spam it and you win. That's not okay. But a complicated attack strategy like like Go Lava Loon, I feel like it didn't really need any nerfing, but you knew it was going to happen eventually. And that's what we have here. Guys, we don't know yet how much this is going to affect Golavaloon. We have no idea. So don't freak out yet. We will see. Of course it will affect it, but we will change the armies accordingly and we'll be fine like we always have been. So also guys, you can tell I'm going to do some walls today. I have full gold, basically full elixir, um, and I have a ton of loot in my clan castle as well. So we got to do some walls. We're going to do four walls today and I only have seven left. So after that, we're only going to have three walls left to a completely maxed base, so let's do it, guys. Let's just go ahead and do that right now. Wow, it's crazy, man. Crazy feeling. I'm uh, going to have three walls left. I've been hanging out with this loot, trying to... Um, I'll tell you guys after I do this. <laughs> let's do this wall right here. Boom. One. And this one over here. That's going to make two. Now we will collect... Well, let's do one more with the elixir and then collect the loot. Where are these walls? I can't even see them. Ah! Oh my. <laughs> Do you guys see the walls? I can't see them. Let's go into vill village edit mode so maybe I can see them better. This is crazy. Oh, they're all right here. So, <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> that's weird. They, they blend in because of that elixir pump. So, alright. Let's do... That's three. That is three. Now if we collect this... Boom, 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 boom. Now we have enough elixir to do the fourth wall. Wow, we just did four walls, 16 million resources, and I still have a bunch of gold left because, guys, I had so much loot. I was starting to tell you guys, I was gonna do one of those replays where, you know, I was my storages were full, my clan castle was full, and I was getting my mines and pumps full too, and they were almost full before the update. So people started attacking me. And it was showing 1 million of each resource. It was insane. And I didn't get to record the replays. And now they're gone, guys, because of the update. But it was right here. This guy right here. He spammed that whole army of 20 balloons right here in one spot. He got so excited, you know. He wasn't really, you know, thinking clearly. And he just spammed them all right here. And he still got a ton of loot. So, uh, like, look at that. That had 100,000 in it. They were almost 200,000 when that guy attacked me. So, it was crazy. But, uh... Yeah, guys, like I was saying, don't worry about this new defense yet. It's not going to be a game changer until everybody gets it leveled up to level, you know, 6 is going to be the max for Town Hall 10. And, you know, I bet it's going to be pretty powerful, but that's okay. We're going to deal with it. Guys, let me show you uh, what I'm thinking about. Um, let's see here. I'll go to my own base and I'll... I can scout my own base, right? Yeah, so, okay. So what I'm thinking is, guys, see how I kind of have a triangle on this base? This is the principle here. If somebody wants to come in and get that Inferno, it's going to be really hard for them to get the Arch Queen. If they want to come in and get this Inferno, it's going to be pretty hard for them to get the Arch Queen. We've got kind of a triangle here. Now, if I was going to attack this base, I would probably come in from over here. Try to go in here, straight in here. So I had some hope of getting both the Archer Queen and that Inferno. Therefore, I would then start the balloons going clockwise or counterclockwise around the base. So basically what I'm saying is, guys, if you know somebody's going to end up putting balloons on this side, you know, they're, you know they're going to do the go 
golem hero attack part from this side and you know the balloons are going to come from this side so you would face that air defense that air blower thing what's it called leaf blower again <laughs> air sweeper you're going to face the air sweeper this way because you know only balloons are going to come from that side so that's what i'm thinking guys just predict which side um you know especially if you're a town hall 10 predict which side people are going to use the ground troops from and which side people are going to use the air troops from and that's going to make it really hard for attackers now this is going to change you know attack strategies are going to change and there might even be some some weaknesses that, that show up soon we don't know yet but i would just stick with it guys don't worry yet you know these things always happen changes always happen so um you know of course we're going to talk about where to put this thing but i think it's going to go somewhere in the middle and like i said basically have it facing the opposite side of your arch queen that's the that's the short version of the story i just told you so my arch queen's on this side you would want the uh, air sweeper on the other side facing the other direction of the arch queen simple right so you know in theory that's going to help even more against the Golava attacks but let's be honest it wasn't easy to three star with any army before you know it's not easy to three star a base like this ever you know let alone you know Golava might be pretty powerful but it's still not easy so i'm surprised they did this but nevertheless you know it, the game moves forward we keep going so guys let me know what you think about this new defense and let me know what you think about me almost being done with walls pretty crazy pretty crazy so you know this is what you get after farming for you know, over two years i've got um you know of course two billion gold guy but i still don't quite have the 2 billion elixir i'm kind of bummed about that <laughs> i've been trying to get it but you know i don't farm as much as i used to so it's going pretty slow i looked up the uh, amounts of loot that you need to get a max town all 10 and it was about 2 billion gold grab but the elixir was way lower it was actually like 1.3 billion so i've farmed way way beyond that you know i just from troop donations and stuff it, it wears it down but yeah basically farmed enough to get a max town all 10 guys crazy feels crazy and we're only three walls away so we'll be doing that in the next video probably ah and then what are we gonna do i have no idea guys give me some just some suggestions below what you want to see me do i know a lot of you guys want to see me do some trophy pushing we're certainly gonna do that we're also gonna always do clan wars stuff like that so you know don't worry guys we will still be making videos that's for sure i'm also gonna farm a lot of my other account we'll see so yeah guys let me know if you like this video give me a like and a comment and a shout out in the comments below if you think this is pretty awesome that we're almost done with the base also subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys next time peace